Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel, I'm Antonov2 as usual and today I've got finally the first video of the winners of the 1k subscribe replay contest lined up for you guys and believe me this here is probably one of the funniest and most ridiculous games I've seen so far in my World of Tanks career. Now um, this here is Let's quickly get a better view of the lineup. This is Titan in his E25, and he's going to showcase for us just how to use your E25 perfectly. Now, he spawned on El Halouf, which is a perfect map for TDs like the E25, but he's not playing it like you would expect. A tank destroyer to be played on this map. He's not camping on the ridge. He's being super aggressive. Look at this. He's basically all over the enemy spawn point. And he's going to take a position right here. And he's going to try to intercept enemies coming along the A line to take a position at the A2, A3 area. Now you can see he's got binoculars put up on his E25, which you'll see many E25 drivers do because you can really use the E25 as a scout because uh, it is just that speedy machine. You can see him lighting up all these tanks down here. And <laughs> look at this, look at the ridiculous reload. This is not uh, speeded up for replay, this is actually how fast the E25 reloads. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Now you can see that he's firing some APCR shells here. He's got loads of APCR uh, on his E25. And uh, that's something that, again, lots of E25 players do, I think, because the penetration really is not that good on the E25 because it's the same gun as the Stug uses at Tier 5. So, um, yeah, you can see the APCR ammo really doing some good work here, but now he's switching to a No, I think he might switch to AP ammo soon. Um, you can see him really just chewing up all these Tier 7 heavies here. The ridiculous rate of fire. And now he's switch, switching to AP ammo because he's basically just got the rear of these guys, so he doesn't have to have good penetration. Look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. And you might say, yeah, okay, but, you know, it's all good if you fire APC armor, but, you know, it's not all about the premium ammo. I mean, of course, the premium ammo is quite a deciding factor in the penetration, but this is very long range, and APCR loses penetration a lot fast over range. And also, it's also a question of positioning. I mean, look at this great positioning. All these tier 7 heavy tanks haven't got the slightest idea where Titan is. He's just, like, he's way out of sight of view range. And <laughs> look at that. He just basically chews up the entire health of that Tiger 1, then ammo racks him at the end, doing <laughs> 25 damage. This is so ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, he bounces the back of the Tiger there, which is a shame. And he's changing his posi position a little bit now. But, yeah, what I was saying is, basically, because his camo ratings are so good, and he's got this amazing view range, he's just uh, able to spot the enemies without them having the slightest idea where he could be. I mean, they know about where he is, but, you know, they can't actually shoot him. And you can see Binoculars making the difference there. He's able to spot that IS. And this repositioning he just did right there was quite useful because that means that you now get hits on that IS and that T29, and that's quite good. So you can see the T29 seems to be kind of trying to angle his rear against Titan, but it's not helping him because Titan's APC armor is just slicing right through his armor. And you can see there's some really good target prioritization, which Titan's doing here. Uh, many, of, many people will probably go for that KV1 because he's on very low health, but he realizes that the T29 is a lot more important tank for the enemies and prioritizes him. Now he goes for the KV-1, taking him out in two shots, and look, he's he's down to 12 rounds of ammunition, and uh, there's only been four minutes in the game, so... <laughs> he's just spamming ammo at these guys. Look at this. The score is 5-0, 6-0 now, and... <laughs> this is so, so ridiculous. I... That IS just fired in frustration. I, I don't think Titan was spotted. Um, but. Yeah. That IS just kind of hoped to kind of blind shot Titan, but it didn't work. Now you can see that Titan's also using a large repair kit, large med pack, and automatic fire extinguisher. So he seems to be uh, very serious about his E25, and maybe the E25 is kind of his pimp tank. So he's down to two rounds of ammunition. And he has to play this very carefully now, because if he gets caught out in the open, he'll be able to do, on average, 300 damage, and then he'll uh, basically be taken down, because he 
can't fire anymore. But now uh, another great thing about the E25 comes into play, which is the amazing view range of this vehicle uh, and the great speed. So he's using the good speed to maneuver around this, and you can see he's got six cents. So he manages to spot these two guys here. He takes one shot at the tiger, and the set and <laughs> the tiger set on fire by second shot, and he doesn't use a fire extinguisher. Look at that! He did like seven hundred. 800 He's, he must be up to 900 damage on that tiger one there with his last shot that's <laughs> look he left that tiger on oh oh my gosh i mean how i did i can't imagine that, that guy didn't have it oh oh my gosh there's a tiger one coming up and oh there's the gorilla there's the gorilla, but he hasn't got any ammo left <laughs> look at this look at this he's going for ram it looks like he's going for ram oh can he make it <laughs> <laughs> he manages to ram kill the gorilla <laughs> and he's on five kills now but the tiger one's coming for him he will be able to take one more shot and if he's lucky he'll be able to take another shot with his hit points pool but he really has to be careful so he's running away from the tiger which is absolutely the right thing to do in this situation <laughs> did you see that kill on the gorilla and i mean i i can't believe what an idiot that tiger one driver over there at uh b6 was i mean he didn't realize that uh, Titan was behind him in his E25, but showed really bad map awareness. But I mean, that can, that stuff can happen to any of us. But then, not to use a fire extinguisher, he's just being totally ignorant of the fact that he lost 900 hit points through a shot from a 75mm gun. <laughs> oh gosh. Is I mean, I must say, you could say that. Uh, Titan success in this game is down to the premium ammo and lots of luck, but you must say that Titan really played it like a pro. I mean, you know, oh gosh, this is just so funny to watch. But now he's being very, very aggressive here, and the tiger actually moved out a bit, so uh, he was very lucky there that he wasn't hit by the tiger one. And yeah, now he's just, he has to be really careful here because if a tiger rolls high, he could still kill Titan in one shot. And you know, Tiger's load is killed, but it doesn't really matter to Titan because <laughs> he's run out of ammo anyway, so you know, who cares? And now he could maybe ram kill the Tiger one if he's lucky. So he's just going for it, uh, but the Tiger is killed before Titan can get to him. And that's a 15 to 1 victory. They literally lost only one tank. <laughs> and I'm quite sure that was down to Titan's input in this game. Oh, you know, when I first when I first watched this game, you know, I really couldn't stop laughing. It was so good. Um, but, yeah, that's quick. You have a look at the post-game stats to see how good exactly it was. So, uh, Titan managed to get 146,043 credits and 3,052 experience. And believe it or not, that was without a double and without any specials going on. The only input that uh, happened there was a premium account bonus. But, you know, still, even with a premium account, which is 50% more experience and credits, uh, 3052 experience is really much and you know uh, this is only a tier 7 premium tank and that's a lot of credits obviously that was enough to get his ace tanker badge and the e25 he also got steel wall a confederate and i believe that's sniper so that's quite good uh, well, quite good it's really good and in the team score we can see that he was the best player on his team by far he got 2035 experience and <laughs> that was twice as much as the second best player on his team uh, which was the gorilla who did quite well too uh, 1149 experience is nothing to be ashamed of but <laughs> you know uh, it's just nowhere near the amount of experience that titan managed to get he picked up 6189 damage and five kills and one of them was a ram kill so yeah that was really nice on the enemy team we can see that none of the players did very well really uh, the best player got 208 experience so this was just an absolute rant and uh, the teams were absolutely unbalanced but uh, <laughs> you know even so titan really knew how to make the most of the situation really get that it's really difficult to get that much damage and do that well if your team is 
so superior to your enemies uh, because all your teammates are doing quite well at the same time because the enemies are so easy to kill and get damage on, uh, and farm damage on and that's why it's even more difficult to do this well in a game where your team's way superior to the enemy team than in a balanced game or even a game where your team is slightly worse than the enemy so let's quickly check out the detailed report <laughs> titan fired 60 shots that's his entire ammo loadout of which 56 hit that's a really really good uh, hit ratio and 49 penetrated uh, fair enough he used loads of premium ammo but um, I, I think loads of people do in the 25s he got nearly 6200 uh, damage which is really a lot in this gun i mean the dpm is amazing but still you know with 150 alpha damage on average i think that's still quite difficult to achieve he got only two hits of which, of which obviously two penetrated because the armor's paper thin on the e25 so that made a total of 480 potential damage um he damaged 11 enemies, destroyed 5, and also picked up 958 spotting damage. So, well, usually you would expect uh, that in an E25 game like this, there would be loads of spotting damage invol involved in this result, but there actually wasn't. Uh, if we look at the detailed report, we can see that he only get got 1,000 spotting damage, which is still, you know, it's not little, but the lion's share of the experience was down to the amazing amount of damage that titan caused here in his tier 7 premium tank destroyer of e25 and yeah that's just a really really good result for this tank you yeah, look at look just look at this he got nearly 150,000 credits but he walked away from this game with only 14,000 because he had to pay that much for resupplying his ammo so yeah sucks to be you premium noob <laughs> no i mean i was only kidding I, I, you know i don't want to take anything away from you titan uh it was an amazingly well played game and although you used loads of premium ammo and uh fair enough there was some luck involved for example with the engine fire and the tiger one at the end you really showed some really good skills in driving a tank and i'm really impressed by this game and uh, believe me i didn't see an as enjoyable game in a long time in World of Tanks. So, uh, thanks a lot for sending this in, and you will get your due reward for this game. I am not quite sure about the prize anymore. I'll definitely check up on them and um, contact you about the prize, and you'll definitely get your reward. I think it's a tier 3 premium tank, or 500 gold, or 1000 gold maybe. I'm not quite sure. I'll tell you more detail. But, um, yeah, thanks a lot for sending it in. Third prize. Um, yeah, congratulations. And stay tuned, guys, for second and first place coming up in the next week or so. So, thanks for watching as usual, and bye bye.